Hey guys, Richard at Reese.com. Thank you for joining me for this video. And for this video, we're going to do an update on KH Guardian from Dr. Bridge. Let's go. All right, guys, as I said earlier, this video, we are revisiting KH Guardian. Part of the reason why I wanted to cover this product is because I believe that it can be an excellent budget reefing equipment, and we will get to that in a minute. These days, there are tons of auto alkalinity tester in the market, but years ago, this unit stood alone as the industry's first automatic alkalinity tester. For those of you guys that have been following my channel and social media handles over the years, I was the first person to get this unit in North America and it paid pretty penny for it as I really believe that this is a revolutionary item that would change the landscape of the industry. Long story short, I had put in few inputs during its early days, covered this unit about 8 years ago, and was so impressed with the product that I gave my official aficionado best product award for Reefapooza show in 2017 when it was showcased for the first time to the mass public. Now, let's fast forward to today. After so many years of this product being out, let's take a look and see how much this unit has changed over the years and if it's still relevant to this day and age. First of all, price changed dramatically. First units were sold as an early bird specials and after the initial discount, I believe it was about $1,000 and around $1,200 to $1,300 on a regular pricing for those people that missed the initial early bird sale. As of today, this unit retails now for $399 for the Pro unit with one reagent that will last two months doing six tests per day. I usually run four tests a day and it will even be more cost effective in long term. This unit can effectively auto dose your alkalinity using sodium bicarbonate using the results that you have gotten and using the built in pump. I really like that it has gotten so affordable and love the fact that this is a standalone unit which doesn't require any ecosystem to function. This is a huge plus for me as it is now affordable for most average hobbyists. Now looking and touching this product after so many years and after dealing and handling so many different alkalinity testing products from various companies, you realize and appreciate how small this unit is. I really like how it can fit practically anywhere. One thing I noticed or re-noticed was that this unit uses a specialized optical sensor that counts the reagent being dropped instead of relying on the accuracy of dosing pumps. I liked and preferred this method as I don't have to worry about calibrating every few months to ensure my tester's accuracy. I also noticed that it has emergency drain on the back which I don't believe the previous unit had. I like this feature but wish that it was slightly more spacious for the tubings to go through but I understand the limitations due to the small overall footprint. Also, check out this vertical magnetic stirrer as well as the float switch in this tiny little space. I was impressed on how efficient they were with the space that there was available. Initial setup was a breeze, much easier than I remembered years ago. I was a bit dreading the fact that I would have to be handsy with the programming, but their team really stepped up and fine-tuned this down to make it easy for those of you guys that just want simple working product outside the box. And for those of you guys that are looking for a good setup video instead of their written guide, be sure to check out Parker's video. He does a phenomenal job on how to set this unit up, giving a very detailed step-by-step -step guide. I highly recommend it. Remember I said that they made things easier for folks? Out of the box, pH probes comes calibrated from the factory, which is wonderful. But for me, I'm going to calibrate myself once again because it's always a good habit to do it yourself for the peace of mind and to ensure accuracy. You also have an option to calibrate the unit itself by adjusting few points plus and minus to match your manual test results. But I didn't need to calibrate my unit as my results from multiple different test kits mirrored the results that I was getting from the unit itself. We're off to a good start. I noticed that they have been making firmware revisions over the years and I was happy to see this because support after sale is crucial and I love the fact that they kept on developing this over the years. And talking about firmers, you now have an option to keep the classic look or one that has more of a steampunk feel to it. I opted for the steampunk look because it was different. Also, it should be noted that they have an active Facebook group where the users and manufacturers help others to navigate this machine. When this unit first came out, within the first year, they released AIM module. 
which integrates KH Guardian to third-party controllers to give alkalinity reading on chart. And I have had this on my Apex years ago, giving me constant update. Now, they have a second version of a module, which is called AIMS. Now it gives you ability to do a standalone pH or ORP reading, salinity reading, and temperature reading. Also get this, you get a conductivity probe and a temperature probe and the AIMS module for just $50. Considering how expensive conductivity probes are and the fact that you're getting capability to get pH with the purchase of the probe and the temperature probe to get the basic parameters, this to me was an unbelievable value and a must-have item for this product especially for the hobbyist that doesn't have any controllers for their aquariums. I was a bit disappointed that they didn't have their own standalone app after all these years, but was happy to find out that they are now cloud-based and there are ways to check your results from the web browsers from anywhere in the world. If you don't have them plugged into a third-party controller like Apex, Hydros, or GHL Proflux, I have it available on my phone and on my tablet now as a shortcut and check on it periodically when I have a certain urge to check. However, to do this, you will need to get a Wi-Fi extender. While it can be seen as a hassle for some, for me, it was a good idea to own one and have it dedicated to aquariums because many of the aquarium products only support 2.4 gigahertz and this way, everything is connected to one device without any hassles. I just used the network cable to hardwire the cage guardian to the extender and I was done. Having this unit for a few weeks, I had one minor issue of false reading, which led me to track the source of the false reading and I was able to find out my water input line for the KH Guardian was close to my ATO output line, which caused inconsistent readings, which I had to change and reposition. And since then, I have had zero issues, so my advice for people is to keep those two lines away from one another, as well as your dosing lines or calcium reactors effluent output. I was able to successfully monitor the growth rate of my corals and my clams in numbers and made changes to my calcium reactor's effluent drip rates accordingly. And in that sense, this unit doesn't fall behind any of the alkalinity testers in the market. While it lacks the fancy app and have a bit of a steeper learning curve than some of the more expensive counterparts, this unit is excellent unit that simply functions and is an absolute bargain for $399. If you don't have a controller, AIMS module will give you an ability to read the pH, ORP, temperature, and salinity readings and comes with the conductivity probe and the temperature probe for just $50, which is an unbelievable value for this day and age in our hobby. I strongly recommend this for reefers that are looking for a great functioning alkalinity tester at an affordable price. You can purchase this unit from their website or you can reach out to Alex Lim on their support pages and he could get you guys squared away. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked the video and found the video informational. If you guys are in the market for a brand new KH auto tester, please give a look at KH Guardian. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching once again, guys, and you guys have a great day.